Let's take a look at the power efficiency of the new Mac Mini M2 10 gigabit Ethernet connection. You can get it as a build to order option for 100 US dollars. You will find it on the order page at the end of the options. Uh, choose it. The delivery times will increase, but you will get 100 US dollars less and 9 gigabit more network speed. I use iStat menu to get an overview of the total power consumption. The first test is running with 100 Mbit per second and gives you 11.2 watts power consumption. The next test is running with 1000 megabits per second, which is called 1 gigabit, and it uses a little bit more power, but not much. It uses around 11.5 watts. Uh, next level up is 2500 Mbits per second. Uh, which uses again a little bit more power but again not much more power so we get around 11.7 watt so which is joule per second which is not much next increase is 5000 megabits per second again the power consumption increases but again not much we get around 12.7 3 watt and finally we get 10 gigabit per second or 10,000 mbit per second uh, again the power increases but not much and to find out if there is some internal slowdown if there is no data transmitted we will use a network speed tester in this case the Mac mini is sending data to a Mac studio and you can see it's around 9000 megabits per second it increases over time and if you take at the same time a look at the total power consumption it does not increase with the transmission of the data so it's a really efficient mac at the moment it's 12.73 watt and all around i would say it's a little bit more than when using 5 gigabit transfer mode uh, by the way, you can change these settings in the network settings on the panel hardware. So we get around maybe 12.5, 6, or at maximum 7 watt. So we let run it a little bit more. There's no increase over time, which is very good. And it's still transmitting more than 9000 megabits per second. So I would say it's around 12.7 watt and now you see it's only 1.5 watt more than this lowest possible connection 100 megabits per second okay that's not really true the slowest possible connection speed is 10 megabits per second but it would be really crazy to run a rack with this low network speed so i would say in total it's worth to upgrade to 10 gigabits per second network connection you will not have to pay more for power because the consumption is really, really low, especially compared to add-on cards like Thunderbolt, uh, network adapters, or even a PCI Express case with a Sonnet Solo, for example, 10 gigabit network card. They get warm and they need a lot of power, but not this M2 Mac Mini. It does not need a lot of power.